the stomach, the chest, the arms, and the hands. The helmet's quite tight fitting, and oh, oh no, I'm way too fat for this. Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. As you can see, this is a little bit unusual. It's not a one in six scale video, it's not a one in quarter scale video, or a one in ninth scale video. We're checking out a one in one scale. Now, some cosplayers may be familiar with this. This is my first time trying this on. This is an outfit created by Killer Body. They're based over in China. And I want to try it out just to see what Tony Stark would feel like if he was actually wearing this. I've managed to squeeze into this. This is not essentially from my proportions. I'm a bit fat here, so this is sticking out a bit. But if you start panning downwards, you can see the legs go straight down. These parts do open out. Hopefully you get the motorized version. Can you see that? The legs, and it is quite robotic in terms of movement. It's not very easy to move around in. Now if you come back up, a little bit later, you'll see hopefully the back thrusters showing the blue LED lights that light up. I'm curious to see how this really feels when you put it all on, including the helmet. So let's check out how that's gonna look. Just so you guys are aware, the instructions manual for this outfit is huge. So I'm gonna show you, flick through. There are different versions of this whereby you can have the unpainted version, the one with less electronics. But if you go for the one that has all the bells and whistles, all the electronics, all the light up features, it is almost like a catalog of how to fit the parts together, what batteries you need to charge, where to install it, and how all of the features work on this. So it's not a simple outfit that you can just put on. So don't expect to literally wear it all in one go, like how he suits up at the end of Avengers. is nothing like that at all. You will have to spend some time putting it on. As I said, you need someone to help you put it together. But uh, yeah, you've got to check out this instructions manual because it is rather thorough to be able to suit it up fully. Here we see the back section of this Mark 7 and those are the signature air flaps which open on a remote control. Also you can see the blue LED lights underneath. The motorized action is pretty smooth and the servers that operate it doesn't sound too loud. I actually think it's one of the best features of this suit and there's the remote control, you click the button and there you go to open and then press it again to close it up. Next is the thigh armor, and if you look closely, as the mechanism opens upwards, the missiles actually angle slightly outwards as well, right next to where the LED is, and it closes again, the missiles point back into the body. So, nice little touch on that little pivot system as it opens up and closes again. As I mentioned earlier, my body shape is not quite streamlined enough. So I couldn't fit in the rubberized sections around the elbows and other joints around the armor. So that's why where I'm wearing this gauntlet and showing how the missile pod opens up to show the missile, I'm not wearing some of the parts that actually do come with this set. Killer Body on their website will talk about and show other suits that they make such as Black Panther and Captain America. But most importantly, make sure you check out the measurements to make sure you fit the outfit. There are a few videos of this full armor, I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube. But if you are interested to find out a little bit more about it, what you get with it, the costs, how much it costs to send to you for shipping, etc., check out Killer Body. I'll put a link in the description below. Have fun checking out what they have because it is quite fun to be fair. So check that out in the description below. Okay, I've had this on for a while now. Some parts you can see I didn't manage to put on, but it is rather cumbersome, but the electronics look pretty good when you wire it all up using the battery. It works on a remote system that allows you to have the helmet drop down, the chest arc reactor to light up, and the back and the thigh section here. All in all, I'd rather have a Captain America suit to wear, but it is a pretty cool overall suit to wear if you really like Iron Man. You have to have at least one person to help you wear this because it's tough to do it by yourself. I would say pretty much impossible. Other than that, it was fun for the day to wear and to pretend to be Iron Man and Tony Stark. 
I'm not surprised that Jarvis is needed for, to suit this up because it's pretty much impossible to do by itself. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you all at the next video!